and welcome back. We are just now reaching Bastilla's Bastion. Ba Bastion. Yeah, ba Bastilla has an Overwatch character. Alright. Dabs. <laughs> so sorry for having put that in chat. <laughs> Oh, oh, hi. So, you are the one who has been undoing my work. The Fire Elves were to remain cursed until Wizard City was in ruins. That's unfortunate. Your meddling in Malastare's plans will cost you dearly, Wizard. I shall send you back to Ravenwood as an example of what happens to those who oppose us. Yeah, that's not very nice of you. Okay, well here's the deal. I think that I should just quickly drop the Fire Elf minion. Like, next turn, quick drop. <laughs> and we did get our shield, so I think I might just toss down a death shield. And we won't really need the fire shield this much. So, that I guess. We're on episode 9 now. We should be in Cyclops Lane by the end of this episode. <laughs> Teams. Alright, that did just enough damage. Okay, so here's the deal. We can use a Fire Elf, which does in total 295, and then we can use Lightning Bats, like, really quickly afterwards. Because I did get the Fire Elf uh, amulet, which is going to be very helpful. I just hope that this particular boss does not use Ghoul or Weakness. Okay, no, no Weakness. Weakness basically does not exist till you're, like... Out of Wizard City, I think. Good. Okay, 55. Pass for now. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, they stopped having the damage. Okay. <laughs> this fizzles. Well, guess what? I hacking jinxed it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and heal. <laughs> uh... Okay, that is directed to me. Okay, it's a death trap. So we can heal, though. We took our window. Yeah, if that, if that, those bats just had not fizzled, we would not be in this position right now. Alright, Thunder Snake, do good things for me. Yeah, that would have killed me if I had not healed. Do good things for me, Thunder Snake, please. Okay, and I guess not. You did 139 damage, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> going to use the. You know what? I'm going to use a death spell against the death boss to do the finishing blow. Well, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just not gonna have it. I'm just gonna go all the way back to the commons.
Okay. So, we will just grab these two mana wisps, because we do need some. <laughs> um, for that fight in particular, I don't think we're going to level from this, but we are level 8 and this is episode 9. <laughs> as much as I would like to do like a level an episode, I don't think we're going to be able to manage that. Like, just, just think about it, we'd be on episode 106, and then we'd be on level 106. And, yeah. It'll definitely last longer than that, though. I like how there are skeletal warriors down here. They're, like, ice mobs. This is no place for you. <laughs> I think the wisps just kind of give you a fourth of your health. Because <laughs> I got, like, 104... Uh, actually, no, they give you an 8. No, or do they give you... I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> uh, I got 154. Yeah, they give you a 4th of your health. Um, so, that's neat. <laughs> I wonder how that level 26 balance guy is doing that we... He's still trying to fight Magma Men. Uh, okay, I actually feel bad if he really is. <laughs> ah, you have a lock of the Banshee's hair. After this, Ambrose should believe what I've been telling him about the Death School. Greta burns the lock of hair over a white candle and then hands the melted wax to you. Done! Tell Private Quinn that the wax from this candle can break the curse on his precious fire elves. Okay. <laughs> Good. You know, sometimes I wish they'd, um, they'd just shake things up with the whole, like, oh, you're leaving a building screen, like they kind of do with, um, they do with Pirate 101. If they're different, uh, images of like Booch Beard and Gantry running away from stuff or something. Kind of you have a cure? Great news. Yep. I've taken the wax from the candle and mixed it into the potion. I hope I did it right. You'd better do the rest. Defeat the Fire Elves and their leader, Prince Alakane Swift Arrow. The potion should then break the curse. Good luck, wizard. Okay. Um <laughs> Guess we just gotta beat six fire elves. Hopefully this does not take very long. Uh, looks like our friend here has already kind of started on that. Uh, where do I go? Yeah, I've got an idea. How about we fight the fire elf pathfinders? <laughs> oh, or did that thing just die? I have no idea. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go for the fire elf hunter right now. Here. Fire elf hunter. I was about to say, watch me end up getting pulled by the Pathfinder, even the Magnum Man. That would have been very sad. A very sad day in the world, Blue Jewel. I'm just gonna use Blood Bat. <laughs> Got higher accuracy anyway. Okay, got one down. 
Yeah, this may or may not take a slight bit of time. Wheat. Well, I mean, I can talk about the Crocotep thing that I was starting to talk about in F6, I think. But, um, basically, in Crocotopia, um, the Find the Beatles quest. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Find the Beatles quest, actually. One of the Beatles is found in Crocotep's dungeon. Which is not very good for us. <laughs> because, like, even though I know where it is, and it's Crocotep's dungeon. Why are you. What are you talking about? <laughs> but. That's how the fire elf gone. Um, so we would need to actually go back through and do the dungeon if we were to go back. So I think I'm just going to accept the quest. But then go back later. I don't really know what I'm going to do, honestly. Uh, or it. <laughs> or I can just lag. Really cool, too. Oh. That is unfortunate. Hopefully he'll use Sandstorm or something. <laughs> Unless he just one-shots him. Okay, I guess not. He probably just got crowns for Christmas or something. Memes. And obviously I just don't do as much damage. <laughs> um, I've defeated uh, 3 of 6. I'm gonna go, go uh, grab this wisp. Alright, that finally worked. Um, down to here, I guess? No, that's not good. Fighting a magma. Uh, I don't, okay, there's 4 magma men right around here. This makes sense. Uh, is he going into Fire Glove? Oh, yeah, I think he is. Um, okay, this is gonna be four of six. <laughs> um, wait for second round. Okay. That's some damage. <laughs> okay, that's four. Let us go ahead and fight a fifth. Um, can use thermic shield. <laughs> I'm gonna go for bats. It's kind of risky considering I can definitely fizzle with it, but. Bats just does tons of damage. Like. Okay. Last fire off, and then we can. Finally, go to Alakin Swift Arrow. <laughs> Will we be able to beat him with, like, maybe. Hmm. 
Hopefully we can beat him with like 18 mana, and this Thunder Snake does good things for me. It's gonna do good things. Ah, oh, one. Uh, that's what I figured too. Well, that's all right, but we know that in the future. Oh, okay. Yeah, this costs way more mana than it should have. Uh, I'm just gonna use the dark carry. I don't really care now. Alright, well, we've got 16 mana. <laughs> Lower than I had hoped, but hopefully, still enough to defeat Alcane's with Darrow. And I think after this. Uh, okay, it looks like Grace Fairy Petal is going in here, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a smith over there. Okay, do you, you want to, like... Hop on the sigil or something, or... Or are we just gonna mess around? Because... Only got 16 mana. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sigil right now. She's just not going to join, I guess. Um, probably just wants to solo it. That's that's regular, I guess. But that's also all right because I've got 16 mana and I could probably get two or three shot Alakane with bats and then take up the fire off minion. Don't you know it's rude to interrupt a performance? But you are just in time, wizard. This is your final act. Am I the only one who realized one of the Jack Hallow brothers actually had the exact same voice as Alakane Swift Arrow? I mean, I don't even know if I was doing videos at that time. Okay. Huh, he has a lot less health than I thought he would. So maybe just a few lightning bats, like maybe three, <laughs> that can win. I expect at least one of them to fizzle, so I'm thinking we're just going to be down to like eight mana after this is over. Then maybe we might have to heal or something. I don't know. Oh, ah, that's right. Just me in here. Hopefully this. Okay, it went through. I deal first damage, which is good. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna start discarding. Um, what I do not need. Okay, that's some damage. Yeah, Firecat Alley is definitely very hard. I can drop the boss, like, right now, so... It would just not make sense not to, because he's just casting an imp right now. I don't want him to cast anything stronger. Like what this guy is doing. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna go for Alakane, like right now. And then I'm going to heal. Because I desperately need a heal. <laughs> Okay, just me and the key slot left. I'm just gonna use Thermic Shield. If he does something that I don't really like, then I'll do. Okay, that puts me at 106, and now I'm at 36. So, here's the deal. This Thermic Shield is basically my last hope of life. But in other words, I better heal. Because it doesn't look like I actually have um, any cards anyway. Okay, he fizzled, but 
this is still going to do 21 damage. Which, uh, come to think of it, if he hadn't fizzled right there, man, would I have been dead. <laughs> okay, so we're back up and we're going to beat him now. Hopefully. Huh. No, I'm actually just thinking I'm going to use Thunder Snake and maybe another Thunder Snake. I don't know what my order of spells is going to be. Like next thing you know, fire cracking comes out of nowhere, <laughs> and you're like, "Dude, we're not in like Zafaria yet." Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was very hard to win. Twice this episode we dropped below 50 health. I mean, no, not 50, 100. As you pour the potion into his mouth, Alakane's swift arrow shivers and his maddened eyes soften. I, I remember. I was cursed, as were all my people. Did Private Quinn send you? Tell him his arrow saved me, as mine once did him. The curse. I can feel the effects of the curse weakening. Now that we know it was the Banshee's curse, we will guard against it. Tell Private Quinn that we owe him a debt of gratitude. And thanks to you, Wizard, for freeing all of us. All right. <laughs> I guess that is going to wrap up Fire Cat Alley. Um... Yeah, next part is actually getting back without so getting pulled in. <laughs> we get pulled. Rip, blue jewel. We got both of those. Um, need like 600 to level. This gives 250, so yeah, we're not gonna level from this. <laughs> Well, Private Quinn, here I am, again. Oh, man. Green Prince Swift Arrow. Your deeds here will long be remembered by the elves. Okay, I can barely see you. Left, left side of the I'm screen. I'm glad to see the elves Fine. again, even if they are a bit annoying. Okay, I need that skin no, for a while. I never thought the curse would win, even for a moment. Still, I'm glad you helped my friend, Prince Alakane. No, I never thought the curse okay, would win, that's just the even for a moment. Still, I'm glad you helped my friend, Prince Alakane. Firecat Alley is much too dangerous, wizard. Someone needs to warn the Headmaster. Please go tell Headmaster Ambrose about the curse upon the Fire Elves. I will stay here and warn the others. Well, <laughs> um, that's episode 9. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and give that a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> I will see you all in the next video after we talk to my Lambros. <laughs> eh? Ah, it's my favorite student. My aunt. I hear you've been exploring the different streets around the city. The headmaster listens intently as you tell him about the events of Firecat Alley. I was afraid of this. Malister is trying to keep us from finding out his real plans by causing chaos and panic on every street. We must find out what he is up to. For the safety of our school, I will have to think on this some more. He has found many creatures to help do his bidding. I fear that he has sinister designs, not only for our world, but for all the others as well. You have done quite well, young wizard. I am proud of you. Keep up the good work. Okay, that's another quest done. <laughs> um, let's go for this quest. <laughs>
I brewed up this potion especially for Bartleby, the tree in the center of Ravenwood. He hasn't been feeling well lately. He has trouble remembering things since his eye was stolen. The headmaster gives you a bottle with a bubbling blue elixir inside. Take the potion over to Bartleby and see what happens. Take note of anything he says. Well... I think that's actually going to do it for this episode. So I think I will see you all in the next video. And goodbye.